Welcome back guys. A few weeks ago, I did a tutorial on getting started with your Innovation Launchpad. As cool as this thing is, the real reason I bought it was because my friend Edgar told me that I could hack a Launchpad into having essentially the same functionality as an Ableton Push for a lot cheaper. The Launchpad cost me around $55 on eBay and the software package called Arsenal LP1 cost me about $25. Total, that's about $80 compared to around $600. I'd say that's worth it. This thing is so cool now. So you buy the main software pack for your MIDI controller, whether that's a machine or a launch pad or an MPC, and then you buy associated matrix mode packs to extend the functionality. I have all kinds of modes from note plus mode, which lets you use a fully functional drum sequencer when you load a drum sequencer in, along with all the beat repeat modes. It also gives you the scale mode from the push when an instrument is loaded, which lets you play notes and chords. As well as simpler mode, which lets you load up samples into a simpler and then actually play the chops on the launch pad. That's actually how I made my latest track, Soul Goal. My personal favorite matrix mode, which was only an extra $5, was scale sequencer mode, which lets you sequence notes and chords and play them over and over again. The creative possibilities with it are endless. First, let's get set up with Arsenal because it's honestly really confusing using the user manual and the online videos, so I'll walk you through it. First, buy and install Arsenal from the native control website. If you have a Launchpad S like I do, install Arsenal LP1. Otherwise, install the appropriate Arsenal pack for your MIDI controller. Then, setup is as easy as running the respective installer for your operating system, whether that's Windows or OS X. Now, open up Live or restart it if you had it open. Go into Preferences and click on the Link MIDI tab. You want to set your control surface to one of the Arsenal control surfaces, A through F. Since I used Arsenal LP1, mine all say LP1, but yours might be different. These are separately configurable modes for when you have multiple matrix mode packs and you want different configurations to actually get to those matrix modes using the top and the side buttons. It'll make more sense in a second. For now, I'm going to pick Arsenal LP1 B since I already have A configured. Then set the input and output to be your MIDI controller. You'll want track and remote to be on for the Arsenal device. Now exit preferences. Doing this will create a native control folder in your root directory. On Mac, this is in your root user folder slash native control. On PC, this is in C slash users slash your username slash native control. Inside the native control folder, you'll see a folder called Arsenal. And inside that folder, you'll see a folder for each of the configurable setups. Let's go into the Arsenal LP1B folder. You'll see two files, settings general.txt and settings matrix mode list.txt. For now, let's look at the settings matrix modes list.txt file. Down at the bottom, you'll see mode 1 through mode 12. Here's where you can put in your various matrix modes and assign them to certain buttons on your launch pad. As you can see in this graphic, mode 1 and mode 2 correspond to session and user 1 buttons on your launch pad. The user 2 button is the shift key. Pressing shift and simultaneously pressing user 1 or the session mode button will give you modes 3 and modes 4. Pressing shift and simultaneously pressing any of the side buttons will give you mode 5 through mode 12, which are all assignable in the settings matrix modes list.txt file. Now let's make this interesting. I want to use note plus mode, which will give me the drum sequencer and scale sequencer functionality that I'm seeking. I buy and download this from the Arsenal website and install it the same way I did with Arsenal LP1. Now close Ableton if it's open. I'm going to now modify the settings file and put in note underscore plus as mode 5 in the settings file. You can figure out what the name of the matrix mode is by going to the Arsenal LP1 user manual, scrolling down the matrix modes on the side, clicking your desired matrix mode, and then seeing what the shortcut name is in the user manual. For me, that's note plus, and I can see that this name is note underscore plus 
all capitals with an underscore. I put this as mode five and then save the .txt file. I then open live. Now I can see that when I press the shift key and the top button on the sidebar of the launch pad, I go straight into scale mode because I have a piano currently set on this MIDI track. If I put a drum rack on this track, it'll become a drum sequencer. I can also use beat repeat functionality using the buttons on the sidebar. When the buttons are lit up red, it's in beat repeat mode, and I can make a build up if I want to. Pressing the volume key, which is the top sidebar key, changes these buttons along the side to change grid resolution, which allows you to put different sized notes into the MIDI clips. You've also got simpler chops, which I love playing around with. Darling, 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 darling. So now you've got a drum sequencer, a scale mode, and simpler chops all on your launch pad. Native Control has a whole slew of other matrix modes on their website, which can be used to extend the functionality of the launch pad even more. And I'm excited to explore them a little more and start building out live performances using this. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below. As always, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome music and tutorial videos in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like a you know.